Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Raven and a lot later than usual, but uh, I had a lot of problems with the audio of Nintendo Switch because it was staggering, like, you know, it was it was clicking, like, you know, you, you, you've heard that, right? You've heard that as we were, you know, like, trying to, to, to stream it, as we were, you know, playing it, but don't worry, I finally fixed it. <laughs> Four hours of fixing this crap, and I fixed it. But today I'm going to show you <coughs> the spread deck. So we got a nice spread deck that I've created a few days ago, and I've deck tested it a few times, and I think it's nice. Like you know, it needs maybe some tweaks here and there, but the main core idea is really, really simple, and it's really, really cool. So we start with two tapu coco, uh, right? With those two nice tapu cocos. Right, so the Tapu Koko promo cards for the flying flip, of course, that is the spread. Then we go to one Absol, so our opponent's basic cannot retreat, right, so we want to make their life harder. Two Murkrows and two Hunter Crows for, you know, for what? For the Raven's Claw, of course for the Raven's Claw, I'm Raven, we're doing a Raven's Claw, so this attack does 10 damage more for each damage counter on all of your opponent's Pokemon. Fantastic, fantastic attack, you want to utilize it a lot. Then, four Weevils, and uh, four Sneasels and four Weevils. Two Weevils with Rule of Evil, so this attack does 16 damage to each, to each uh, of your opponent's Pokemon with ability, so here you have to look out for your own Absol. And Weevil with Evil Admonition, so this attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has ability. So two ways, two nice different ways to, to attack and to use, you know, a nice spread attack. You can imagine, you know, the damage after Rule of Evil and then we just BAM with Raven's Claw. What a fantastic combo. Then what we want to have is three crushing ammos to actually like, you know, slow down our opponent to make him not attack us. Oh, and of course three enhanced ammos on top of that. One Great Ball, that's all you need. One nice Great Ball, one Judge Whistle, one Max Potion, three Nest Balls and one Pokemon Communication. No need to, you know, to, to explain why we need them, we want basics, we want, you know, the cards. Then we have two switches, so two switches to switch uh, out our, our Pokemons. Then standard classic Raven uh, is going to be three Cynthias, two Erika's Hospitalities, three Guzmas, two Lilies, one Judge to mess up with our opponent, two Ultra Balls to, again, get those cards that we need, one Black Market, so our opponent will not get a prize card out of those guys right here. We got one Viridian Forest to get the basic energy when we need, two Choice Bands, one Counter Gain, three, that's all you need, really, three DCEs, and so if it's three, then nine Dark Type Energies. That's all you need with this deck, to be quite honest. That's all you really, really need. So let's go, let's take this deck for a ride. You want to go first or second? Actually, you want to go first because uh, you want to evolve, right? You want to evolve with uh, this Sneasel Weevil stuff. So let's go, let's see what is happening. And again, uh, if someone is having the same issues that I have with with game, uh, what I've read just before I like, go on live, uh, Stefan Ivanov uh, had the same problem in France and it might be a language problem, so if you change your system language to English, it should work and you should not have any more problems. I'm still, I still have to check it out for myself. Well, let's go. Let's go with heads. It's always heads, guys. It's always heads. Uh, I've lost, so hopefully my opponent is gonna go second. Oh, okay, so my opponent is going, uh, going, going first. His name is Team Guard of War, so if he's not playing Guard of War, I'm gonna be disappointed. Like, really, I am going to be disappointed if we're not gonna see Guard of War from him. So let's go. I know there's no music in the background today. Ah, we got Guard of War. Okay, so we got Guard of War. Um... I know there's no music in the background, uh, I know, I know, I know, I just, you know, d d didn't want to, you know, like, get into troubles with that today. I had too many troubles with audio from Nintendo Switch, so that's why I'm not having it. So, Zoroark Gardevoir deck, um, definitely with a lot of Ninetales fairy type. So, from the get-go, I can tell you that our Sneasel Weevil is gonna have a lot of fun playing against those guys. So, um... What I want to do is definitely, you know, prepare myself some Sneasels and Weevils. And again, remember that, you know, for both attacks, you don't necessarily need a uh, energy. Any color of energy, All right, like this, this is a better way to put it. And yeah, let's get rid of this energy. Like, mm, it just does not look good here. So I'm going to put this energy on Sneasel. That's on the bench. Like, we got both. Um, I'm gonna lure my opponent to actually thinking we don't have anything else. The kind of the problem is that we have Rule of Evil, which means that we're gonna deal 60 to each. 
but at the same time if you combine that and with a hunch crow it's gonna be an epic epic amount of damage but we have a really bad draw at the same time with only one weevil but you know maybe maybe it's gonna be enough maybe it's gonna be enough damage we'll see we have some you know we have some crushing ammo so we are able to to, to get rid of some energy of course we do not have uh, we don't have any GX's, so we're playing purely, purely non-GX deck. Of course, you can add a Shrine of Punishment instead of Viridian Forest. Uh, for the additional damage, I did not went with uh, with this just because um, I forgot. I completely I forgot with all these troubles today. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, kind of a poor draw. So you can definitely you know want to exchange the Viridian Forest for Shrine of Punishment if you feel like you know doing something like that. Okay, we got Cynthia, great. So we have drawing power, we even discarded energy. So kind of our plan is working to this certain degree, right? To some degree we are uh, doing okay. Bam, that there's gonna go. Oof, okay, so yeah, that was a mistake number two. I should not play Absol. Because we're gonna do Rule of Evil and Absol is gonna get hurt. So yeah, that, that was the second mistake. Like, wow, this is a misplay city today. And the mayor, Mayor Raven, is here in the misplay city. So, definitely our, my opponent knows what I'm going to try to do and where I'm going with it. I have a max potion so I can actually heal Absol the, way, the same way he's going to heal um, Garden of War. I'm kind of, you know, confused uh, on, on, on him discarding the energy. Like, normally you don't want to discard energy, but maybe, you know, maybe he has a fisherman, maybe he has something else that will actually help him get back the energy. And oh yeah, like I want this another sneeze. Okay, that's Secret Spring, and that is a knockout on Weevil. Oh boy. Like this is the perfect matchup that we should win and and, and we're kind of breaking here. Well that's a part of the game, so you know it's not that bad. It's you know definitely a version 2.0 of this deck it will appear like in a week or after unbroken bonds. So I'm gonna put Absol first. I want to buy myself a turn now, because that's all, all I want from my life. Just buying myself some turns, because I clearly do not draw well whatsoever. Um, I can go Guzma on Oranguru, but that would be you know, like, there's no point in that, right? There's no point in doing that. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. But okay, you know, bodybuilding dumbbells on uh, Zorark. Like, I remember I tried to brew this and, you know, again, my opponent's deck against, against, like, tier 1s is not, like, you know, the best option or the best thing ever. But certainly in, in our matchup it looks, uh, like, it's, it's more consistent, you know, uh, than us. And I hate that, I, I hate that, you know, he's, he's, like, really consistent today. Because look, like whole bench is abilities. Everything, everywhere you look, abilities, abilities, abilities. And at the same time, we can't pull this off. Okay, so crashing Amas. I'm gonna play Guzman Oranguru, and yeah, let's go with Whirlwind. Why not? Which was a stupid. Um, yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was stupid. That was just stupid. Okay, like you see, even now when I'm recording YouTube, like I'm making, uh, like sometimes you make those mistakes and there's nothing you can do about that, right? Uh, and then I can like sound a little bit like, you know, quieter because it's really late night, like really late night as a, as of recording it. And, you know, the cover is sleeping, I just, I don't want to wake her up. So, yeah, like I kind of think I woke her up with like, you know, me screaming at Nintendo Switch. For, for, for not working with me. So, yeah, definitely, you know, I can, I can say that we had a bad draw. But at the same time, also, I guess, like, yeah, I made mistakes. Like, I made a few mistakes that kind of costed me a game. So, I'm going to, you know, accept that that was my fault. Because we had, you know, almost, like, 90% win chance. And with every draw, every single, like, you know, misplay that I made, uh, the chances were, like, lowering. Well, it happens, right? It happens. Um, what can I say? There's a game to to play, and we have actually we have a nice start. To be quite honest, we got a Tapu Koko. I'm not gonna play uh, Sneasel just so we're not gonna get Guzmud. And I don't know what I'm facing. I know my opponent goes first. 
Or am I going first? I think my opponent goes first, right? Yeah, so my opponent goes first. Uh, and it's a Zapdos deck. So again, a deck that does not utilize a lot of abilities, but is weak to, to, to electric type, which is Tapu Koko. And again, the counter gain, of course, is for Koko, just in case, right? Uh, just in case we all, you know, we're gonna only have one energy. Uh, so I'm gonna keep Viridian Forest, because he might play uh, Thunder Mountain. So we're gonna keep Viridian Forest and... Okay, there's Drudge, so there's there's actually some abilities. Hopefully he's gonna play more Drudges, he's gonna maybe fall into uh, me having, you know, Sneasels, Weevils, and all of that. Definitely, you know, I'm not a favorite in this matchup. That's what I can tell you. Definitely, I am not. And a skateboard, of course, on Drache. Drache is to woke himself up. Okay, so Murkrow, Sneasel. So I want to minimize, you know, what can happen with the Zapdos right now. So DC is going to go here. And I'm going to play Guzma. So this is basically like, you know, telling him, hey, dude, you have to, you know, you have to get rid of, you know, uh, some energy. You have to play either Escape Rope, maybe Guzma, maybe something to actually, you know, help yourself in this situation. It's like, you know, slowing the game a little bit, but hopefully, you know, it is uh, going to be good in the long run. Because look at how it sometimes can be, right? It's not always, like, the prettiest side. Uh, and again, we're facing a Tier 1 deck, let's be honest. And it might... Okay, we got a second Zapdos. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Second Zapdos. Electro power, yeah. That is a GG uh, on Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko is dead. Tapu Koko down, Tapu Koko down. That's what you can say. That you can type in chat or you can press F to pay respect. Well, then the choice bands. Well, what if he does not have a way to actually, you know, like switch them? He played Cynthia, so he might not have anything. That's why he played Electro Power. He might be you know, like counting. Oh, I'm gonna be lucky. Oh, I'm gonna be able to do that. And he might not have it. And he has. Okay, but again, um, I have to be smart now. So it has to be a smart play. So actually, I think Sneasel. Like I can give up Sneasel. He's gonna waste, you know, uh, Electro Power. Plus, he has to still play. And no, he does not have to play Energy because he can just retreat. Uh, Jirachi. So I'm just waiting for Cynthia or something to draw. Look, we have so many drawing power in our deck, and it's the second game we're not drawing anything. Well, you know, while I was testing it live, like it was actually kind of working. So, <coughs> you know, that that's the beauty of it, right? And sometimes you record, and you know, the deck is clearly not 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 hitting it while you're streaming, and the deck is you know hitting it when you're streaming. So it is what it is sometimes. Let's go, Coco. Okay, we got a Murkrow. And a Flying Flip. Hard hitting, hard hitting stuff. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what happens. What, what, what can we do, right, uh, about that? Definitely, like, you know, maybe if we had a DC Intel. This might have helped, but it, you know, Hunch Crow is getting destroyed by Zapdos. It is, and it is just, I can't deny it. I can't say no. Okay, Guzma, so we still... Oh, so the interesting part is that I'm still gonna have Coco in play. Well, he's gonna, you know, just bring the different Zapdos, that's all. I'll maybe play Escape Rope. And the Rescue Stretcher, okay. So we kind of had like, you know, a nice hitting. Hunch Crow, unfortunately, is gonna get knocked out. Not quite yet. Uh, he needs Electro Power, but probably he has Electro Power, I'm not gonna say. Okay, so no Electro Power, so if we're gonna draw... Oh yeah, so I drew Hunch... <laughs> I drew Hunch Crow, so I have to like really, you know, just find an energy, retreat this one. 
and at least we're gonna have a nice knockout and maybe like maybe we we're gonna be even able to you know pull this off at some point so that was a knockout let's see what we're gonna draw and that's a weevil no 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 out of all the cards weevil is something that we did not want it to have right now really like no just no weevil is something that you know is, is no, no no just not something i wanted na right now or as of right now so still he need he definitely still needs electro power to knock out Coco. So I'm kind of counting on this uh, that he has to have electro power because the energy is there. Like I'm, I have no doubts. There we go. Electro power, electro freaking power. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Mr. Tapu Goku, I'm so sorry. You're gonna you're gonna be knocked out. Ouch. And with a switch, actually, or he's gonna just retreat. So switch or retreat. Okay, retreat, knockout. Well, I can still draw a DCE. Like there's still a way for me to, to pull this off, kind of. And yeah. He has a switch, I know that. That is a conceit. So, my rating of this deck, to be quite honest, is bad. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, the deck is bad. It's really, really, really bad. But I'm gonna give you the deck list down there below. Maybe you can create something better. And if you're gonna create something better out of that, post it on, on, on Discord. And I'm gonna check it out myself during live streams. So thank you guys so much for watching. Down there below I have a 5% discount on any gold purchase on Professor Oak. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And sorry for you know, like sounding a little bit weird today. But yeah, it's super late at night when I'm recording it. And I was fighting with the Switch. Thank you guys for watching. Raven loves ya. Goodbye and good night.